So how, how can Jesus be your personal Lord and Savior and you don't know what his name was? How can he be a personal anything if you don't know what his name was and you didn't know who you don't know who he was? Jesus told you, he told the disciples rather to baptize them. He said, baptize the believers in the name, not names, in the name that he never gave you of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So all these three having one name that Jesus never revealed to anybody. People don't know what they getting baptized in. They don't know who, you don't know who you getting baptized into because you don't know the name. You know the title, you getting baptized in a title, not a name. You know what I'm saying? Think about it. Think with me, put on your thinking cap. He told you to baptize in a name, in the name. So when you go to, when you go to Acts, you know, a lot of the one that's Pentecostals, they would say you have to be baptized in the name of Jesus. Jesus didn't say that. <clears throat> Show me what Jesus said to be baptized in the name of Jesus. No, Jesus said, baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, but he never gave you what the name was. Now, Peter coming and Peter saying that you need to baptize in the name of Jesus, but none of the disciples call Jesus, Jesus. We have no scripture there. Show me the scripture where they called Jesus, Jesus. So why would they be telling you to baptize in Jesus' name? So they say, they say there's no salvation in any other name. Well, Jesus didn't say that. So people don't know what name they getting, they don't know what name they getting baptized in. People don't even know what name they being saved in. Because nobody know what the name is. Facts.